Good morning, everyone. Today, we're back landscaping. I'm leaving the house just before 7 a.m., and it's a beautiful Monday morning here. The weather looks good for today and all week long. Luckily, guys, this is like the first week in the last two to three weeks that there's no rain. Like always, guys, there's a full mods this link down below. And if you do end up enjoying today's video, hit that like button, it's much appreciated. Looks to be pretty busy on this Monday morning, guys. And uh, we are going to be busy ourselves. We have about 25 lawns that need to get mowed. We have two crews going out, but today I'm going to be mowing a few yards myself here because I'm going to be demoing a lawnmower. Wow, guys, we're getting here right before 7 a.m. and we are not the first one here. Looks like there's quite a few people here getting everything ready to go. And that is great to see here. Definitely Mondays, uh, sometimes people tend to show up a few minutes late here to be early to get here before the boss is always a great thing here. So we got two crews going out here with the Chevy 5500 and the uh, Ram 3500. We do have a few uh, landscaping jobs. I believe we have someone regrading a yard and then the other one is doing a small excavation job. So like I mentioned guys, we are gonna be demoing a mower. I, I kind of planned and arranged with the local dealership to demo a Toro a zero turn here. I, I needed another mower and I thought, hey, why don't we try out another brand here? So we'll just take our F-250 and we'll uh, get the utility trailer and let's go pick it up. All right, we should be good right about there. And the backup camera guys, on this F-250, Tremor's pretty good here. It's really handy, and this also does have that electronic backup assist, which is pretty neat here, but we're good to go. I did end up talking to the, uh, a few of the guys there. They're waiting on a few more people to arrive, and then they'll get going here. But like I mentioned, guys, we need to pick up another zero turn here. I'm not sure exactly what brand, what type I want, but I think at least it has to be probably a 60-inch or even a 72, and preferably a 72, because we have a lot of acre plus properties and uh, we have a few uh, quarter uh, third acres but for the most part we need big zero turns guys I picked up this f-250 tremor last week here it's a 2022 Larry tremor and I will say this is becoming my favorite daily here I've been driving it quite a lot and I've just been really enjoying it here and although it is uh, the uh, full four doors with the eight foot bed I haven't really noticed that extra a foot and a half uh, to two feet there here but we're here at the local dealer we have a great uh, salesperson that we buy all of our equipment through and oh look at that it's right out front for us so like I mentioned guys, we are going to be demoing a Toro here. This does have the 35 horsepower diesel and you guys can see this is a Z Master commercial. Pretty expensive as well. I mean the price tag is really, really high. But I'm going to go uh, see if I can find the salesman, get the keys to it and uh, we need to get going to go mow a few yards. Guys, I wanted to have the salesman do a quick walk around on the mower, but he's helping another customer, so he just handed me the keys. Maybe when we drop it off, I'll have him kind of explain all the features of it, but for now, we need to get this loaded up here. I'm just super excited to try this thing out. Now, if I really like this, I think we might end up buying it here, and I, I think one more mower is all we need. We are almost up to 100 lawns that we mow every single week. All right, guys, we got it on the trailer here. I'm just going to put a few tie-down straps here. That way, we don't have it moving around on the trailer here. And we need to get over here. I always try to start mowing before 8 a.m. And it's going to be close one here. We have about 15-minute drive. And it's about uh, 17 minutes until 8 a.m. During the summer months, guys, we tend to not get too much rain here. So we are actually every other week now for all of our lawn care uh, jobs here, which actually works out for us. We could take on a lot more landscaping jobs uh, since we could free up some employees and some equipment. And uh, uh, those are even more profitable here. But we have a lot to come here with the landscaping business. I'm trying to bring the camera every day that I'm working with a company because it is a lot of fun to kind of bring it along and show the everyday work and all the jobs we do. And we're here at the first property here. This is a small uh, roundabout circle here about, I would say, five to ten houses here. There's a small roundabout back there. All right, guys, why don't we hop on the mower and get to mowing here. This is about three quarters of an acre here. And I, this is a perfect property size to test out this mower. All right, we'll get the deck lowered here and we'll get the blades uh, fired up here. Put the blades through the grass. Now, one thing, guys, 
many of you are going to be asking Square, well, where did you get this mower? This is actually just a reskin of the John Deere mower released by the rental man buck here. This is a really good mower, and in this reskin, it does look really good as well. The summer months, guys, has always been super busy here for us. We're taking on so many jobs. And I will say the grass is really green for it being midsummer. The roll bars on this zero turn, guys, are uh, going into these branches here. Hopefully, we don't end up breaking any of the branches. I don't think the customers will be too happy here, but I would definitely have to make note of that. The next time I talk to this homeowner, uh, I will have to see if he wants those trimmed. So far, I'm noticing, guys, this mower has a lot, a lot of power here. I am trying to be careful not to tear up the grass as I am turning around back and forth here, trying to do three-point turns the best I can. And I, I think, guys, uh, for a big semi-two-inch mower, you do need a diesel engine. I feel like it just has a lot more power here, and it's best because all of our other mowers are diesel here. That means we don't have to carry gas in diesel gas cans, only the mixture uh, for the weed eaters and then also just diesel for these here but you guys can see look at the cut quality here oh, wow this thing really does a great job now you guys might be asking square well why don't you buy one of the brands you already have here i could do that but i also want to see all the new features and what the other brands are capable of and also a big part of the equation guys is getting parts here and the local dealer just started carrying toro and that's sort of why I'm considering it because I want to be able to go to a local dealer, pick up an oil filter or any spare parts that might end up breaking here. And that's a big part of it for me is being able to just go get the supplies and parts uh, when I'm in a pinch. All right, guys, that's it here. Why don't we hop off, take a quick look here. Look at those stripes, guys. This is unbelievable how good of a cut quality here. I don't really see any clumping, really any uh, problems with the cut quality. And that is the most important thing here. So far, I'm liking this. Let me know down below in the comments if you do own a Taro or if you know what someone that owned one and would you recommend it here because I always like using your feedback here. But up next, we have about a quarter of an acre here, which is also good to see. Can this mower work on also a small property like this one here? This one looks to have uh, quite a few obstacles here. Also, it isn't really a grass here. There's some weeds mixed into it here. So, this is also uh, the perfect lawn to see how it does on uh, okay uh, lawn as well. Tight fit there, but no problem. And we'll go right over here. Oh yeah, there's also some branches we have to watch over. We don't want to be damaging the blades. Well guys, I think this demo was a success. We were able to test it on one of our most common properties, three quarters to an acre here, and also oh, uh, we're able to test it on a small lawn there. That one that we just mowed, uh, the second one here today was only about a quarter of an acre with quite a few obstacles, and the mower did a pretty good job here. So I'm gonna actually have to talk to the salesman, see what the pricing is. Maybe we can work out a deal for this one, or maybe I might look at this one, see if there's a few features I might wanna switch out. Uh, maybe order one from the factory here. But guys, I'm probably gonna put down the camera and go meet up with the crews to get on uh, to continue mowing. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.